Today on Slow Mo, we've joined the Sorted Food guys, Mike and Ben. Thanks very much for having us, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming. Cheers for coming. And um, we're going to do a bit of high-speed kitchen geekery. Which is what I'm looking forward to, because I'm normally the geek in this kitchen, <laughs> but today I fear I might be out-geeked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's not the case, mate. But I can't wait to turn the kitchen into a lab. Yeah, let's do it. We've got an orange, and we're going to do the orange peel blowtorch. So we all know that most of the flavour is in the oil of the peel. And if you give it a little squeeze, you can get something quite special. Let's do it. So, take off generous chunk. Whoa! Whoa, that was near the eyebrows. It's incredible. I didn't expect it to be that big. And that's the great thing about having vapour as a sort of flammable agent is that it's obviously increasing that surface area so it can spread out and really light up quite nicely. It looks great and it smelled good too. Yeah, it's it's too. Oil extract. <laughs> yeah so that's a limonene inside the oil. It's basically a plant defence that happens to be flammable. So it's an incredible little chemical. It sort of acts as an irritant so it can actually sort of bore through the shells of exoskeletons of like bugs oh. trying to burrow down into it. It also tastes horrible, breaks up sort of pheromone trails of ants and things like that and happens to look very cool when you set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> but in fact, guys, we can go a lot hotter. You can actually make plasma in your kitchen. That sounds <laughs> lethal. Like the, 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 like the sun's made out. Literally like the sun's made out of, yeah. And actually 99% of the other universe matter as well. But wow. yeah, it can be pretty extraordinary and hot. And we're doing it with a humble grape. Well, Mike, if you want to set this one up, yeah. uh, basically if you can cut through that just to about the skin on the other side. So you're leaving a little bit of skin on the other okay. side. Cool, and then if we pop it in a microwave, probably just for 10 seconds is all you need. Ooh. Hey! <laughs> Did you get that? It's cool! <laughs> I know. It's just charred the plate. Has it? It's hot Whoa. stuff. Has, oh, it split the bridge as well. Split, split the, the bridge? And look at that. <laughs> Nice, man, that looks fantastic. So what are we seeing? Because it's really sort of pulsing rather than a big fireball. Yeah, so basically grape juice has got loads of electrolytes in it, which basically means it's sort of molecules that can give away their electrons really easily. So they're sort of ions. And what you're really creating here is superheated gas. So all those sort of electrons and protons sort of mill around in a weird sort of soup of charged particles, and they're firing across that little bridge between the halves. So you're actually seeing electrons arcing through. Oh, wow. And they're so quick and so hot that they're actually ionising the air around them. So that's when you get these big sort of arcs spiralling up. So yeah, I mean, it's probably about 5,000 Kelvin, right? And if we're talking hot air, which I often do, uh, I'd love to see the seemingly miraculous popcorn creation. So I've handily got our little laser like temperature this. gun. This is very cool. It's cool, isn't it? I think every kitchen needs one. So those kernels are about 174 degrees. Where do they need to be to pop? Uh, we'll find out. I've no idea, actually. 210, 220. 220. Where? Oh! Oh, There we go. So we're two, 220. Nice one. Got it. So right about now, you can actually see all the oil sort of fizzing up there. So the kernel itself is really hard, but all the stuff inside, so the starch and the water and stuff, is really getting very, very hot. 
And hot stuff is basically molecules moving very fast, I'm sure you well know. And so they're literally sort of banging against the outer edge of the kernel, trying to get out. And eventually, we we'll should see it break through, escape. yeah. It was starting to... Whoa! <laughs> that is actually perfect. I oh, know, it was almost like that oil almost like, sort of triggered a nucleation point or something, just sort of Sparked or something hit the then, kernel a bit. And it went, and, and it really... Opened up like a flower, that, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. And talking of explosions, a little challenge for people to try at home. Is it possible to quickly break a strand of pasta, spaghetti in particular, in two? A clean break. Yeah, bizarrely, this has actually befuddled quite a lot of <laughs> famous physicists, including, allegedly, a sort of Nobel laureate and Manhattan Project, <laughs> Richard Feynman. It really shouldn't um, do. It's the simplest thing in the world, no, but right, it man, is impossible. Go your kitchen, man. It's quite bizarre, but, uh, yeah, if you can do it, let us know. A good wobble on it. That was a really good wobble. It's a very oh, small piece coming out the middle, but look at the way it spins away. Yeah. So they don't they don't break simultaneously. No. Contrary to the thought that one break will relieve the tension and it'd be nice. Which you would have thought so. Which you'd have thought. Yeah, it's actually sort of sending flexural waves that they're called. Um, so sort of waves of tension down. So this part, for example, might relax a bit and sort of straighten up, but actually it's making the bent spaghetti further down even, even more tighter. even more acute. But actually, that's really nice because you can sort of see it's almost forming a sort of sine wave yeah. pattern. Yeah, there's and we saw that in the, trough. Yeah, yeah, we saw that in the other one as well. So there you have it. That's almost certainly a wave travelling through there. That's the flexural wave. So we're hoping to see. So there you have it, gents. Some pretty neat spaghetti science yeah. there, yeah. and all pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take? Us? It was years in the making. Years in the making, and we've cracked that in a few minutes. Yeah, I mean, all you need <laughs> to slow my camera turns out. Indeed. So, well, thanks for coming down and letting us get yeah. our geek on. Not at all. Thanks so much for having us, and do check out the Sorted Food channel because you guys got some delicious recipes on there. Oh, yeah. Thank you very Made much. Some myself. And likewise, check out loads more cool science videos yeah. at Earth Unplugged. Make sure you're subscribed. We are. And thanks for watching again, and see you next time. Hello. Welcome to Sorted Food. Now, if you're new to us or new to the YouTube channel page, then let us show you around. I've got to say, we're just a bunch of old schoolmates who love having fun with food.